What's up, y'all? Uh, it's been a long time. <sighs> I've been quiet. Necessarily quiet. And inward, intending to the... <sighs> tending to my own deep transformation. And I'm in the thick of it. And as I was in the thick of it, I was present to the fact that we are in the thick of it. As a collective, as a species. That we are in the heartbreak. Of having no idea how it's going to turn out. Did the people in Gaza have no idea how it's going to turn out? How the hostages have no idea how it's going to turn out? How the people in Congolese mines digging for the minerals that make our phones have no idea how it's going to turn out? And I found myself today as a person who is oftentimes wired to think that it's going to be the worst. I found myself today saying, please, life, surprise me. Shock me with your grace. Astound me with your kindness. Show me that there is something beyond what it is that I imagine. Show me what is beyond me. Because what is beyond me is what we need right now. What is beyond us, what we know, what can be known, what is the predictable outcome. We need sight beyond that for these times. It was months ago that I said that I knew I was being called to pray in a situation and I, I didn't know what I was praying for. I couldn't figure it out. I didn't have the words. <laughs> because I can only know from the place in which I'm in it's how I orient, and so my prayer for these times is life, please, generous, kind, astounding life. Shock us with your infinite possibility toward grace. Shock the people of Gaza with the overflow of kindness supernaturally change the outcome and trajectory of this situation such that it does not follow the patterns of our pain but instead marches toward the truth of our highest selves Transform us in the midst such that we might be aligned with the most generous, loving possibilities of life. Give comfort to us in our unknowns. Give comfort to us in our grief. Give comfort to us in our fear. Soothe our fear such that we might breathe into the thing that is on the other side. Help us feel into the possibility that brings us closest to love 
such that it might direct our next steps. And that those steps might get us closer to freedom. Inside of ourselves and to liberation as a collective. I ask that hearts be soothed, that those in terror feel even in this moment the sweet breeze of peace, and that those hardened by anger and fear be brought to the bosom of love such that they might be softened into transformation, that they might become agents of kindness. May we meet each other in the truth of our spirits and not in the pain of our transgressions. May we see each other more clearly, which means to see ourselves more clearly. And may we love what we see. May we love what we see such that we desire not to harm it. And may we each find inside of ourselves the ability to be the most generous stewards of these seeds of loving possibility. And may we carry them preciously in our palms. without crushing them. And may we plant them in everything we see, everything we touch, everything we talk to, everything we look at, everything we breathe in. May we plant the possibility of the most profound transformation toward love in it. And so it is. And so it is.